Module 2, Basic Concepts and Elements of Maps Analysis. Unit 1, The Concept of Geographical Features or Data. Introduction. Basically, map analysis involves a critical examination of data or information presented on a map. So, ang map, ga-analyze siya o mga critical examination o, o gahatag siya o date, data or kanang mga information kan, nga ga-represent siya sa map kung asa ang location. The map data represent geographical features. So, ang map ga represent siya o ge geographical features. It means nakaklasify siya sa such as location, sites, areas, or regions. Hence, it is important that the map analyze understands the concept of ge geographical features and geographical data. So, the map is ga-analyze siya o ga-understand sa concepts sa geograph geographical features o geographical data. So, di ba ang geographical features kaya ga-classified siya sa location, sites, areas, or regions. O, ang geographical data is kanang ga-describe siya sa location. For example, Road maps, and ang mga political maps showing boundaries. And also, important is knowledge of the possible sources of data for map making. In this unit, therefore, we will, we will look at map or geographical features or data as well as sources of such data. Objectives. At the end of this unit, you should be able to First, identify the different types of geographical features or and data. Last, identify the various sources of data for map making. So, types of geographical features or data. Maps are produced using geographical or spatial data. The data give us locational and other useful information about the geographical features represented on the map. So, uh, important kayo ang map tungod kay gahatag siya sa atwa o exact location and information sa atuang adtuon nga loki atuang adtuon nga location nga atuang ganahan nga maadtuan sa atuang mga destination gahatag siya og mga information para makaadto ta ana nga lugar with respect to their geometric dimensions geographical features are generally categorized as point line or area or polygon so, ang geographical features po ay kay ga-categorize po siya as point, line, or area, or polygon. Similarly, geographical data could be point, line, or polygon. These geometric descriptions are the basic data elements of a map. Each of the geographical features or data type is discussed. So, mao na siya mga example sa point sa map. First, points are used to indicate discrete location. Uh, discrete features, discrete location is means is kanang discontinuous and have definite features boundaries. Kanang naa siya mga gaps. For example, uh, a road has, has a width and length and is represented on a map as a line. So, a land ownership shows that boundaries various parcel. Kanan na actually lay mga 
kanang marag barrier ba kanang gaps nila next is arcs or lines arcs are ordered sets of points that have the look of a straight line or a curve arc depending upon the feature it describes first is they are considered to have a length but no width na siya'y katas on pero wala siya'y kanang kalap dun they are accompanied by a set of coordinates na, na siya'y mga strong matches Then, last is they are used to represent a geographical feature that is too narrow to have area such as a stream or a road. Nang kwan siya ka ng less wide or not wide siya. And that's all. Okay, polygon areas. So... Their close features whose boundary includes a homogeneous area. They have an area that is given by the arc or lines that make the boundary. They are used to represent features that have area. Example ka nang sa lakes, large cities, and islands. So, ang ato ang example is arena. So, amuhang gikuhaan o kanang exact nga location or area ang isa ka place. So, maunto ang mong nakuha. Like, ingon ani. Example, ni una may diri sa kilid. So, kani like, that siya, diri, dayon, abot, dayon, tuyok na po. So, mauna siya ang polygon or color So, muna siya. Polygon. So, source of data for map making. A primary data. The original data derived from your research. Idibor. So, from the word primary data is, kuwane siya, mukuwane tag interview, audio recording, investigational product, and then, mukuwane po ta, og completed paper and pencil questionnaires sa primary data. From the word primary is ga-derive na siya sa data sa imuhang pag-research. Okay, secondary data is already existing data which was collected and used previously. So, like, mo kanda kag interview transcript then sa imuhang pag sa product nga or sa imuhang pag-survey. So, Containing raw data, calculated variable summary scores. So, mana siya. So, the major, primary, and secondary sources of data for map making include kanang sa pag travel, pag collecting sa example kanang sa ato ang place or na exact or kanang sa yuta. Then, existing maps. So, kailangan kita siya mo gamit taog mapa. Like, or Google Earth, or GPS, or GIS, or Global. Yan na siya. Ang aerial photographs kay, kini siya, these are photographs or of portions of the Earth's surface taken from aeroplanes. So, amun ni ang, ang photographs ka nang makuan na to siya is sa ka lang sa mga aeroplanes and satellite images so ang satellite images there are images of portions of the earth's surface obtain remote sensing satellites so ang satellite images makita na dira kung like ka nang <coughs> example ang drone so ang drone makita na to siya for ka na makita tanan nga area or Example, ang Google Google Earth, makita na to ang area kung haina ang naupaw or adoon na sa mga surveying para mabalan if kana ba nga lugar is tinuod ba nga naupaw. So, land survey. This is the method of physical measurement or 
distance, direction, or height on the Earth's surface. So, pag, from the word land survey. So, land surveying, this is the method of physical uh, measurement. So, uh, distance, direction, or height on the Earth's surface. So, example, ang Google Earth. So, like, pag mo survey ka sa usa ka yuta is imo siyang lantawon ang Google Earth if like example nang naay naay na upaw nga place so adtoon like sa kung giingon ganiha nga adtoon sa mga surveying ang maong lugar so iya ilahang i survey if kaning nga place is okay pa ba so mana siya and questionnaire survey so mato dito ha unsay kanang unsay exact or mga question ani nga lugar or ani nga place nga na opa oh, so mukandak og questionnaire survey and uh, the rest is official statistical records so mo ano ta og kanang mga records or ini kuan sa ana nga place and field observation so Involves personal physical observation and recording of information about a phenomenon being studied. So, mo, like, mo observe ta and then ato ang i-record for kung sa kanaba nga place is kuan ba siya, kaning okay ba ni siya nga place, lamit ba ni siya tamnan, ana. And global positioning. So, like, mo ato ka dito, mo, ano dyo ka, o kaning kaning global positioning system or GPS mo ano ka ani mo gamit this is an electronic digital device used to record so para ma mabal-an ni mo kaning kaning nga yuta is okay ah uh, kaning ba nga yuta is pila ka hektarya o oh, kaning ba nga ano so dapat jud is mo ano pud ta sa step ah uh, sources of data mapping me for map making. So, mo siya ang paggama sa kaning mapa or kanang sketch plan. Like, kanang sa mga titulo. Pagkita na to. Dara. So, digital environmental information files. So, these are digital information about different aspects of man's physical environment. So, kani siya and usually compiled by various agencies so ani the di digital environmental information files is naka hold ni sa mga tawo nga katong na ay mga authority and na ay mga um mga tawo nga kanang na ay na ay kapit sa government so in conclusion Proper categorization of geographical features or data is very crucial to effective and efficient map analysis. So, di ba? Ang kanagad tanan is, ang map is, kuan siya? Maayos siya gamitun and maka efficient po siya for kuan kanang mag locate sa area or mag himo og surveying sa area so summary these are various types of geographical features which can be mapped for convenience sake so mana siya or atong kwaron is ang geographical kana siya point data or moto ang akong giingon ganiha nga like Imo siya 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Muna siya ang katong sa point data. And then line data. Kana imo na ang ano ang usaka place for gathering. Primary data is originally collected by the user which has never been used before. So, muna siya. So, in this unit, we will discuss the concept of map symbols. Introduction. Maps are usually drawn using graphic or visual symbols. In other words, when we draw a map, we are simply symbolizing the, via, the various geographical phenomena shown on the map. When we engage in map 
reading and analysis, we are only trying to encode the symbols in order to understand their meanings and hence the information they bear and convey. They are different kinds of map symbols. It is important that we know the symbols and how they, use, they are used on maps. Understanding map symbols and their meanings helps us to properly interpret maps and derive the information being communicated through the maps. Objectives. At the end of this unit, we should be able to understand the meaning of map symbols, identify the various types of map symbols. Question. What is map symbol? Every map is drawn using a set of symbols. A map Symbols is any graphic or visual sign or mark used on a map to represent and communicate information about geographical features. The symbol symbols are used to code or set data and represent it in a form of diagram, diagram or illustration. Symbols are part of the sign language of the map. The symbols used on a map are usually defined in the map's legend or key. So, ang map di ay siya ang nag-symbols sa mga visual 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 sign or mark use or mark use on a map to represent and communicate information about the geographical features. Ano siya ang map. So, the type of maps So, the type of maps The first one is points points symbols. Point symbols are used to are used to map point or zero dimensional features on the map points symbols are shown as individual discrete dots existing at single spot or location the dots however are not always circular in in other words point symbols could be of various shapes and sizes too more so a point symbols can be used to represent a quality qualitative value or quantitative value as shown in figure 2.0a when use a qualitative symbols a point symbol simply shows us where individual features are located for example a symbol showing a building settlement petrol station trigonometric station spot height or benchmark On the other hand, if use a quantitative symbol, it indicates the quantity or amount of the features it represents. For instance, an illustration as illustration in figure 2.0b, one that can be used to represent 50,000 people in a dot map, showing the distribution of map of human population in a region. So, nakalahi dayan yung quantitative symbols, kasi ang nagrepresent feature it. Uh, the qu indicates that the quantity of, or amount of, of the features it represents. The one dot of the quantitative is equivalent to 50,000 people, while the qualitative symbols, a point symbol, simply shows where individual features are located. For example, showing a building settlement, petrol station, trigonometric station, spot height, or benchmark. So, proceed, line symbols. Line symbols are used to represent one-dimensional or linear features such as roads, rivers, railways, pipeline, and other, and power or telecommunication cables. Like point symbols, some line symbols, example, one showing rivers or roads, are used to show qualitative values, while some, example, contour lines, are used to show quantitative values. Line symbols can also be used to show the movement or flow of people, goods, energy, animals, etc. from one location to another. Line symbols that show movement can indicate both the directional of the movement and the quantity involved in the movement. There are different patterns of line symbols. So, kanina mo yung mga, ang mga kinakaraiyang mga 
patterns of line symbols. So the first figure of 2.1a line symbol showing different types of linear features. Mga siya. I think sa figure 2.1b the quantitative line symbols or contour. Mo na siya. It's a figure 2.1c line symbols or flow line showing the direction and volume of fertilizer move from one place to another. Then, the area symbols. Area or aerial symbols are used to map dimensional or polygonal features. That is features that significantly cover a wide area of land. Examples of aerial features include lakes, lagoon, farmlands, schools, compounds, state, country, and so on. There are quanti quality qualitative areas area symbols as well as quantitative area symbols figure 2.2 a shows different land use types in a place the area symbols used here are qualitative on the other hand figure 2.2 b is composed of quantitative area symbols showing the distribution of population density density the area symbols can also be in form in a form of con of a color pattern just like for example sa ang green nag represent siya og agricultural which means kanang muna ito mga talamnan then ang violet nag represent siya og residential muna yung mga mapuyanan then ang or pink ang uh, muna siyang industrial then ang um, blue nagrepresenta siya og water body so the literal and textual symbols there are symbols that are derived from the abbreviation of some words hence they are in form of text or letters they are used to indicate the location of the features they represent some examples are Ang literal and textual symbols, muna siya ang gipamugbong mga sulat. Just like for example, school, gibutang na lang sa H I S C H market, hindi na lang siya ang MKT. Mas gipamugbo, church, CH, rest house, RH, post office, PO, hospital, hosp, hops. Okay, um, unit 3. The concepts of scale. Introduction. <clears throat> scale is one of the most important elements of a map. Any map without a scale incomplete. The scale controls not only how features are shown, but what features are shown on a map. In this unit, we will learn about the meaning, types of sizes of map scale, as well as how to convert from one scale type of a, to another <coughs> objectives at the end of this unit you should be able to explain the meaning of scale identify the different type of map scale recognize the different sizes of scale learn how to convert from one form of scale to another <coughs> excuse me what is scale what is scale? The scale of a map is the ratio between distances on the map and corresponding distances in the real world. In another words, map scale tells the relationship between a distance measured between two points on the map and the actual distance between them on the ground. The scale of a map shows how much how how much the given area has been reduced to paper size and hence how much you would have to enlarge your map to get the actual size of the piece of land shown on the map for instance map has a scale of 1 column 50000 then 1 centimeter on the map equals 50,000 centimeter or 
0.5 km on the Earth's surface. The map scale tells the users how map relates to the real world. So, muna siya guys, ang, ang, map, ang map scale ga kuan siya kung unsang kuan ang kuan kaning iyang muna siya ang distansya sa area muna siya gasulti niya muna siya ang kuan sa to ang muna siya ang distansya ang anang area <coughs> so usbo na to no what is scale uh, ang scale mga good muna siya ang kuan na to example kanang adin na to makuan nga ang, kung pila na siya ka miles pila na siya ka kilometer diya <coughs> and then asa na tato To show a portion of the Earth's surface on a map, the scale must be su sufficiently adjusted to cover the objective. The extent of reduction is expressed as a ratio. <coughs> Excuse me. The unit on the left indicates distance on the map, and the an number of the right indicates distance on the ground. So, nako example na guys, no? Ah. Uh, So here guys. Pakita na to na siya ng ani guys. Sample sa scale. So din ata maps are made at different scales for different purposes. <coughs> The scale controls not only how features are shown but what features are shown on a map. For instance, uh, one <coughs> to 2,500, uh, kwaan, uh, 2,500 map will show individual houses and lamp post while, uh, one, <coughs> which is a much smaller scale will not show such features. Arin ka sa kuan, uh, types of map scale. <coughs> Excuse me. Types of map scale. A map scale can be expressed in three different ways, namely representative fraction or RF statement and linear. So, nasa ito lo ka, kuan guys, nasa ito lo ka, nasa ito lo ka, kuan kaning, ito lo ka, kuan siya ka ng types una a ratio or representative fraction or RF indicates how many units on the earth's surface are equal to one unit on the map 8 cm uh, 8 can be expressed as 1 <coughs> or 100,000 or 1 100,000 in this example 1 cm on the map equals 100,000 cm or 1 km on the earth it also means that 1 h on the map is equal to 100,000 inches on the land other common apps include 1 A colon 63,360 or 1 inch to mile, uh, to 1 mile and 1,000 uh, million <coughs> or 1 centimeter to 10 kilometer. The, num numer uh, the numerator of of a representative fraction is always one more so it should be noted that RF's number on the, the left hand side is the distance or length on map while the figure on the right hand a example a 50,000 which is also the dominator The denominator is the corresponding or equivalent length or distance on ground. So the RF, a one, ten thousand means one centimeter on the map, 
represents 10,000 centimeters on the ground or or one inch on the map represents represents 10,000 inches on the ground so naman to sa dito guys yung, yung example usar yun po na sa example ato katong ako yung pagkita narga po sa dito guys <coughs> excuse me next is a word statement gives a written description on scale of scale such as 1 centimeter equals 1 kilometer or 1 centimeter equals to 10 kilometers here the first map would show much more detail than the second because 1 centimeter on the first map covers a much smaller area than on the second map it should be noted that the two methods mentioned above for indicating scales would be ineffective, ineffective if the map is centimeter on the original map. This can, however, be taken care of by using a linear graphic. So, ang kanis sa word statements, so muna sa katong word, eh, kanang ginatawag na tato, ver verbal, verbal na siya, verbal scale. I think, muna. So, next is linear scale also known as graphic scale or bar scale figure uh, so na na sa ilalom sa figure to zero guys I uh, would be able to solve this problem as it is simply a line mark with wi distance on the ground which the map users can use along with a, with a roller to determine scale on the map as long as the size of the graphic scale is changed along with the map, it will be accurate as so Monisha guys know as shown in figure in this figure. A linear scale is often made up of two component parts, namely the primary subdivision and the secondary subdivision. The primary the primaries are on the right hand side of the zero while the secondaries are on the left hand side while the primaries are sub subdivided into kilometers or miles so man siya guys no ang kuan sampo lang iyang kuan ah napata diri nana siya diri guys ang kuan makita nimo ang uh, linear kanang nasa aro kanang sa ilalom kanang may mga 200, uh, 200 then may 400 km then may 0 na natudlo sa aro and then back sa to ang report <coughs> excuse me so ato neta sa sizes of scale there are 3 broad categories into which map scales can be grouped these are small scale, medium scale, and large scale. As a general rule, the higher the denominator, the smaller the scale, vice versa. Small scale maps have scales of about 1, 100 million, 1,000 million, rather, and smaller such as 1, uh, 2,000 million. 1, 6,000 6, million, 130,000 million and are used for maps of wider areas such maps are used when much detail is not required. So, na tayo picture na guys. Tayo picture na dari. Na like example. Nisha. Sa large. Sa medium o sa small. So, explain sa nato ni. I basan sa nato ni. Medium scale. Map sub scales of 1, 50, 50 million, 50,000, <coughs> 1, 75,000, 
100,000 to 1,000 uh, one, millions and are used for maps of medium-sized areas. Large-scale maps have scales larger than so muna siya sa medium dahi. Medyo ni nara siya ka na kung nasa kay kung sa small mangutaso gamay kayo din ito makita kung kayo dako naman nga area yang gi gi kan sa map dako naman nga area yang gi kan sa map gi yang gi view sa map mo nang gamay ng iyang kuan makita mo ng puti niya oh. yang yang ga white so bak sa kuan ta sa large scale Map subscales larger than 1 50,000 50, example 1 100 a uh, 1,000 1 <coughs> 2,500 1 5,000 1 10,000 are and are used when we want to represent higher levels of detail. So, muna sa salards. Salards. Doon kay siya kay gamay rang area. Di klaro man kayo niya ang iyang kung saan sa dang area na kit ng kuandra. Muna siya ang salards. Gamay rang area yung gi kuan gi. Kay iya mang gilantaw. For example, kaning Ah, uh, nata example kaning another example ra nako kaning sa example sa small ah uh, tibuok Asia, example abi tibuok Asia nang gi kuan sa map na dito din. May makita tibuok kuan tibuok Asia din sa kuan sa medium makita nang southeast southeast Asia din sa kuan Sa lars, makita na na to ang Philippines. Sa Philippines na. Example rin na, guys. And then, it should be noted that a large scale map shows small features and great detail. On the other hand, a small scale map shows only large features. So, ang kuan magod sa small scale uh, munisya Large, large features, dako kayo nga area yung gikuan. So, kuan siya kanin. Munang dakuan po kayo siya kanin. Dako kayo nga area yung ikuan mo nang makita po na to siya. Gamay na kayo tong, di ba makita na to tong ang puti. Katong gawait siya, gamay na kayo. Kay dako naman nga area yung gikuan. While ang sa kuan mangyot ha. Kanin magod sa kuan sa large scale kay kuan. Ni, ni siya sa large scale kay gamay kanang giklaro naman siya mayong area munang medyo na dool siya short distance lang yung giklaro ba simply put a large scale map gives a larger and more detailed representation of a feature than Thus, a small scale map, in other words, the smaller the scale, the greater is the area where can be shown on a map of given size. But on the other hand, we are able to show less and less details. A large scale map covers a small, but, small area but shows more details, while a small scale map covers a, a large geographical area but gives Less details. So, muna itong sa picture. Muna siya, guys. So, muna ni. Muna siya. Uh, in continuation of Unit 3, uh, Unit 4, the concept of map projection, introduction. Maps are actually projections of a part of a or the entire earth for quite some time it was thought that our planet was flat and during those days 
Amab simply was a miniature representation of a part of the world. Now that we know that the Earth's surface is curved in specific way, we know the map. That map is in fact a plotted representation of some part of the planet. The field of map projection concerns itself with the ways of translating the curved surface of the Earth into a plot map. So, objectives. At the end of this unit, you should be able to examine the concept of map projection, identify the elements and classes of map projection. So, what is map projection? Uh, map projection, uh, the earth surface is curved but it is must be shown on a flat sheet. There is no need for a projection. A projection method by which the curved surface of the earth represented on a flat surface, it involves the use of ma mathematical transformation between the location of places on the earth and their projected location on the plane. A map projection is mathematically described technique of how to represent the Earth's curves on the plot. In other words, it is mathematical process of transforming the spherical Earth into a plot Earth. You can see in figure 4.0, it also representation of parts of the surface of the Earth on a plot paper map or on a computer screen. Every map we see on the paper has been projected. So it is projected version of a spherical earth. So classification of map projections. There are several types of map projections as well as several methods used to achieve these projections. Basically, however, there are three classes of map projections. There are cylindrical conical and asymmetal. Take note of the three classes of map projection. As you can see in figure 4.1, the earth represents of surface projected on the map wrap around the globe. As a cylinder produces a cylindrical map projection, projected on a map, form into cone, gives a conical map projection and projected on a map form into a cone gives a conical map projection when projected directly into the map mapping plane it produces an azimuthal uh, map projection um, see in figure point one below shows the surface involved of these classes of projection this is simply the platin uh, Similar spherical surface without stretching some parts of the surface more than others. The amount of each kind of distortion on a map uh, depends largely next to size the area being mapped on the type of the map projection has been selected. So equal or equal area or equivalent projection is uh, perceived the area of a pictures by assigning them an area on the map which is proportional to the area on the earth. These are useful for application which require measuring area. On formal projection, uh, it preserves the shape and small pictures and show directions uh, like bearings. Uh, they are useful for navigation. Uh, bearings uh, like uh, compass. So a uh, equidistant projection. Uh, Preserve distance to places from one or two points. There are several types of map projection as well as several methods used to achieve this projection. Its projection is most accurate at its center point and becomes more distorted the farther away from the center that it gets. The projections are generally named after either the person who, who first used uh, is the method used to produce it. it or a combination of all the two. Some common types of map projection include Mercator, Transfer, Mercator, Winston, Mercator, uh, and so on. Uh, 
So, those are the some common types of map projections include. So, basically map projection is a mathematical process used to transform the curved surface of the earth into a flat surface. Every map is based on particular projection. So, as you can see in the projection, the, flat is, uh, the earth is flat but uh, to the due to scientific uh, discovery uh, the, the earth is curved but uh, in the map it is flat so map prediction has to do with showing the curved surface of the earth on a plane or a flat sheet it involves using mathematical transformation between the location of places of the earth and their projected location on the map this transportation of one shape, spherical, and another plane always leads to the same of distortion. Generally, the distortion usually leads with the map shows just a small area and the greatest when a map shows an entire surface of the earth. So this is the ano, summary. So it shows that it's very important to have a map. So that's all. Unit 5. Coordinates, Directions, and Bearings Introductions. Map are usually produced based on a certain coordinate system that enable us to accurately determine the locations of features. Map can also give us information on the directions or angular bearing of features relative to any other features. Therefore, coordinates are important items on maps. In this unit, we'll look at the various coordinate systems and also how to determine directions and bearings of features on the map. Objectives. At the end of this unit, you should be able to explain the meaning of geographical coordinate systems, discuss the importance of coordinates, identify various coordinate systems, discuss compass directions, discuss bearings. Coordinate systems. Location and directions on map are accurately determined using a coordinate system. So, kaning coordinate system, maonish Maone siya ay gamiton para malocate ang lugar kung asa ta padulong. So there are two types of coordinate system which is geographical coordinate system and rectangular or plane coordinate system. Geographical coordinates. We can identify locations as precise points on the earth's surface by using a grind system of latitude and longitude. So ang geographical coordinate system is maone siya ang Maunin siya ang gamiton pod kung mulukit ka o place na lisod ilukit. For example, buildings, street, and vegetations. Latitude. Latitude lines are parallel. They run east and west around the earth. The parallels of latitude become increasingly shorter, shorter closer to the poles. So when we say latitude, maunin siya ang street line or Parallel lines nga dili mag-intersect sa any point. Sa globe, makita na ito na nga it is the half of an equator. Longitude. Longitude lines run north and south around the Earth's surface. They intersect at poles and measure a distance east and west from the prime median. So, longitude, it is a geographic coordinate that specify the east west positions of the point sa surface sa ato nga earth. Rectangular coordinates. Rectangular coordinates are plane coordinate system, also known as the grind reference system, is made up of square grinds that are numbered 5.2. The grind lines help us to pinpoint an exact location anywhere on the map by giving a unique number known as a grind reference. So, Sa rectangular coordinate system is also called the XY plane or the coordinate plane. The X axis tell that it is a horizontal line and Y axis is a vertical line. It is it it help us to pinpoint the exact location nga mas mapadali na to pag locate ang location sa place on ma a map. Ang vertical nga line is also called esting and ang horizontal is a northing direction. 
directions. Directions are determined using the compass rules. As shown in the figure 5.3, the compass is usually marked with cardinal points. The four major cardinal points are north, south, east, and west. Intermediate points or subdivision can be derived from these major cardinal points. For instance, we have northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. So the subdivision can further be divided to obtain tertiary division such as north, north, east, east, north, east, east, south, east, and so on. In all, we have 16 cardinal points or compass direction shown in figure 5.3. Using the compass, is, is it is possible to tell the direction of a place or location from another place as illustrated in figure 5.4. The direction of location A from location B is northwest. In other words, it is located in northwest B, northwest of B. So this is the examples in pipe in figure 5.3 compass directions uh, we have 16 cardinal points tanan so as i ang divide sa money ang major kaning north kaning n w s e north south east or west mo na ang four major cardinal points so Namamantay in other uh, location good so muni siya ang SW such as SW such as Southwest NW Northwest and NE North East and SE South East so nagdirive pa siya na napa siya tertiary so in shown in figure 5.3 compass directions muna siya ang mga tertiary nga uh, directions which is kaning tagtulo na tulo ka tulo ka letter so kaning siya ang N W N so west north west ni uh, N N W North, northwest, and NNE north northeast. Masya ma bias sa dua. Anang example kaning NE o N. So namasa sa tunga. Ambotang sa north northeast. So natunga siya. So it shows. It show in measuring of direction in figure 5.4 muna siya ang B ang location B to location A which is muna siya example yan siya yan sa figure 5.4 measurement of direction so bearings Bearing, bearings are direction measured in anglo, ang, angles they are very useful more accurately determining the relative locations of places bearing are actually measured in degrees so zero zero three hundred degrees in a clockwise direction from the true north so it's a uh, figure in figure 5.5 .5 cardinal points and their bearings amo na siya kaning example ning north na siya 360 degrees clockwise na siya ang libot na siya libot from the true north clockwise and on the map the angular bearings of direction of a place from another place can be measured using a protect protector 
So, makagamit siya punta ng Iputaktor to measure a place from another place. Pwes tong isang bagay na sa AOB. Gamitan itong Iputaktor from a measure. The following steps can be taking measures the bearing in the place from another place. So, may siya mga isang mga para makakuha ka sa locations. Identify the two place on the map. So, pas ganiya tong A o B mo tong two locations ni mo i sulat. Draw four cardinal points on the location point of observation from which you are looking for the bearings of the ana of ah of the other location. So, mo draw pa kag four cardinal points. Draw a straight line to the join the centers of the two location. So mukama kato, which is muna tong north, northeast, oh, what sample ato? D. Measure the angular bearings using the protector. To do this. Place the centre of the protector at the point where the north, south, and east-west lines of the cardinal points points in in intersect each other. So there are kamo gamit na sa protector sa two lines, which is the north, south, and east-west lines. Pwede po ka mo gamit sa pikas nga Itong south east O O Itong isa Reading from 00 in a clockwise direction The degree which Direct falls On the line joining The two places Is the bearing of the location of the place We wish to determine Its bearing from The other location so tapat lakwas direction from 0 0 with the degree which directly falls na and joining the two places bearing of location tuma para ma determine ang imo location to another and this this is the example So determine the bearing of the location B from location A. Muna siya nga figure. So ang kaning bearing B, kan gini siya, halin gini siya sa A, bearing A. So muna siya, paingon siya ang A, paingon sa B. Pero gikan gini siya sa A. Muna siya ang measuring bearing. This is the example. Conclusion: Latitudes and longitudes, as well as other geographical referencing system, are very useful in fixing the positions of features on the map. Without a coordinate system, it will be difficult to establish the actual position of the features. In the same vein, the cardinal points expressed using the compass rose guide is uh, as in establishing the geographical direction and angular bearings of features on the map thus without the coordinate system and the compass will we will not be able to know the positions of the earth surface and we will get lost not knowing our direction so dapat kung gusto good ng useful good niya ang mga latitudes ang longitudes muna siyang tapat importante good niya siyang cardinal points no kaning compass rose guide muna tutuan ganap itong primero nang ipakita ang example muna to siya compass rose guide kung nanatanan 16 ng line 16 lines 
So, ang important, importante yun siya kay para ma sakto na ito ang locations kung asa ta pwede ito matalang coordinate system such as, such as geographical coordinates and rectangular coordinates are very useful in useful in determining the accurate location of features on the map the coordinates are used geographically reference the positions of features on the surface surface of the earth in other words in map analysis coordinates are used to relate the position of the feature feature appearing on the map is equivalent positions on the earth surface similar similar similarly the directions of angular bearings of a feature relative to another feature can be established the compass rose which is one of the important components of the map help us in determining the direction or bearing of the future with reference to other features so muna siya ang dapat ang iyang coordinates good ay relate ko sa position dapat in sakit dapat bus ay good siya That's all my report. Thank you.